Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Robin's Taste. Today we're going to talk about X-Men 2, which is the sequel to the first movie. Obviously, I don't even know why I said that. Never mind. This time around, the mutants are not fighting each other because they are fighting a human being known as Stryker. And Stryker is this general douchebag who has plenty of soldiers who follow his lead and is busting down the door at the X-Men Academy School. Why? Well, because of the infamous super epic intro battle, where the President of the United States was almost killed by a Nightcrawler. That fight is spectacular. It looks great and it's a great way to send up the pacing of this film. Damn it, this movie is far better than the first film, no doubt. The story is a lot better this time around. The mutants are actually in total fear, as they are all being targeted by Sergeant Stryker, or Stryker, whatever his name is. Stryker kind of acts like he's Michael Ironside in this movie, but he's not played by him. The action is fantastic in this movie, totally hands down great in comparison to the first movie. But that doesn't mean that the movie is even better than the first film, because it still looks fucking stale. It looks like he's having a pitchfork up in his ass and refuses to let it go. Let go of all these ridiculous, boring, dull colors and let the colors flow. Never mind, the movie is actually a lot better than the first film. It feels like even though I like it, it's just something that is not quite there. It receives 3 out of 5 stars for me, but it is definitely one of the better X-Men movies.